Hey, what's up, people? We're Hi. reviewing Peter Pan. Return to Neverland. We are not original. We were going... I know some of you are saying, oh, why didn't you review that terrible WB box office bomb pan? Well, I've already seen it. And you might be saying, well, would you ever consider reviewing that movie Hook? We did see it. And as I was bored for it. Yeah, as much as we could. <laughs> then we stopped. I think we've only stopped maybe in all of our movies two or three times. We've stopped a few times. Uh, Greystoke. Ugh. Um, King Arthur Legend of the Sword. No, you kept stopping. I watched it like three times. You didn't have to. Woo! That was a quiet one. Um, brother from another planet. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that, that... No. Oh, there was also that movie, what was it, Phoenix the Warrior or something? There was some kind of, um... So maybe four times? <laughs> there was some Which kind of... too bad. There was some kind of sword and sorcery rip-off movie, Well, wasn't so... there something on Netflix or Tubi or something we stopped also... Thank you. Well, you were just pissed because I kept criticizing it after we saw video violence. Well, you can't just keep oh, stopping the Oh, movie. wait. There was that dog movie with Will Forte and Jamie Foxx and Will Ferrell. Oh, my gosh. Okay. And you wonder why I don't okay, like Will Forte. Let's. So, on. anyway, this is our third film in our countdown to Fantasy Springs. Woo woo! I've heard that the Peter Pan ride is similar to, like, Spider-Man, but oh. it could also be similar to the Ratatouille ride. Either way, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to riding it next year. It's a dark ride. You can handle it. In Asia? Yeah, Tokyo Disney Seas. Oh. They also have, uh, what is it, a Tinkerbell's uh, Fairy Buggies ride, which is... It's essentially like a train ride that just like goes around like oh, some scenery, some props. <coughs> that one is it outdoors. Float like the one we went on in Europe. Which one in Europe? Oh God! Remember, there's two. Linda, Linda wanted us to go. It was fairy something. Dream flight? Maybe. No, that was something I wanted to put you on. Was that at one of these parks? We met her in 2019. Oh, which one is this? 2017. Oh. So anyway, this movie, it's kind of... Um, oh, this is the England one? Yeah. I. Okay. You Do you want to try to describe it? This one? Yeah. Describe Return to Neverland. Okay. Wendy, it starts with Wendy... As a mother. Right. She has a son. I don't remember his name. John. Really? Yeah, I think you said John. And then, no, no. And then the Michael daughter and, is June. No, no. The she Wendy's two brothers were Michael and John. Oh, I thought she named her son John. Maybe I don't know. And Wendy's daughter was Jane. Yeah. And what it started out being was um, during World she kept War Two in Europe. She kept in telling England. them stories about Peter Pan and Captain Hook and Tinkerbell and the Lost Boys and everything. And then her husband then the got called out. The daughter, the daughter was um, a precursor to um, to modern Warner Brothers Velma, where it's like that impossible that could never factually happen she didn't talk like that yeah both of them must sound the same to me oh my god no don't worry i'm gonna get another scooby-doo reference in this review don't you worry whatever okay so then um the war intensifies the and kids are being her sent husband to called the countryside some of the kids it wasn't her kids yet so um jane and the dog were coming home it was the little boy's um birthday so then it became oliver twist and or oliver and company and she makes it home to the um bomb shelter yeah and she got her brother socks, socks. there wasn't much else to get him and they were large so he could grow into them <laughs> and 
she just got when they got back to the house and the mom answered the door while she was taking her brother up to bed and that's when she found out the mom found out that the next morning the kids were going to be on a train to the countryside so what they were say, doing is all the children were going to the countryside to save them from the bombing that was going on well they were less London. likely to be bombed there were it was probably it was probably about bombing the city versus the countryside so i don't know if that's true i'm probably we're probably wrong but I don't know seeing kids seeing kids in like being separated from the parents yeah well i was gonna say kids being on a train, train during world war ii didn't bring up good memories for me uh, so there were adults on there to help take care of them but still that kind of scared me i was like i don't know if you i don't know if you wanted to use that reference but okay whatever so then um jane got really upset she made her brother cry because she was the skeptic that didn't believe in it believe in peter pan and yeah. tinkerbell and the lost boys she Captain was Oak. she was the buzz kill yeah so she lay by the, the window. velma if you will she lay by the window and um captain hook opened up the window snuck into the room thought he had captured uh wendy because she was a, jane was about the age that wendy was mm -hmm. when peter pan um had like it. 60 years later <laughs> not 60 oh my god well the first one didn't they come out in like 1942 or something yeah, this came out in like oh two she wasn't 60 years old she's maybe 40s 30s she had two kids it's just anyway anyway so captain hook maybe they're going by maybe they're going by texas texas chainsaw 3d math rules so captain hook and Sno what is sneed it? sneed or is it smead smead smead, smead. Yeah. yeah they put her in a bag i love smead her. smead's like one of my favorite characters clumsy dumb He's goodwill, but he's like, but he's also like really stupid. He's like Butters in South Park. I don't Just know. trust I don't me on it. South Park. Just trust me. He's like, he's, he's kind of like Smeet, but anyway. Okay. So she gets kidnapped and then um, Peter Pan finds out that she's kidnapped and he thinks it's wendy also and instead of instead of there being a crocodile because Ooh. the because the uh writers or producers said they couldn't do anything more with the crocodile they instead had a giant octopus right didn't the crocodile swallow the clock yeah and i think that's the reason why he the has alarm, a hook the alarm keeps going off <laughs> Or maybe it was a wind-up clock. <laughs> we have the movie if you want to watch it again. No, we're fine. We're fine. We just watched it again. No, we watched Return to Neverland. I know, but it was almost the same thing. So she's still kind of skeptical of Peter Pan. Yeah, she thinks she's having a dream. And then Tinkerbell tries to get her to fly and gives her all this fairy dust. Which makes her sneeze. So then she says she doesn't believe in Peter Pan. She doesn't believe in Lost Boys. She doesn't believe in fairies. And she just wants to, she just wants to go home. So she was going to do it on this like barge that she made. And well, let's just say she, let's just, let's just say she, they apparently cut some corners when she built it. So anyway, then since she didn't believe in fairies, Tinkerbell was losing her magical power. She was losing her life. Her light. Life, whatever. So she, so she Captain, goes off. So and Cap no, she, Jane goes off. She's in the cave, getting out of the rain. And Captain Hook finds out that she just wants to go home, so right. she tries to trick him. So she tries to trick her. He, he tries, tries to, to trick, trick her. her right that he won't hurt a hair on peter pan 
or the Lost Boys. If he gets his treasure. Yeah, so he couldn't go back home to Mama without his treasure. Okay, so throw it away. It's and the mother looked like him, complete with a mustache. And I was like, it, he kind of, she kind of looked like Cruella de Vil. Yeah. Big Glenn hair. Close Cruella de Vil. Yeah, big hair and... But still with a mustache. Ugly. <laughs> I, I know I'm not supposed to comment on women's mm. facial hairs, but that kind of made me chuckle. Yeah. Sorry. So then she makes the deal with him. She becomes a lost girl. And he gives her a like, whistle. dog whistle that people can hear. But as soon as she finds the treasure, mm. she's like, you know what? I'm not going to, I'm going to keep right. this a secret. So she throws it. And then one of the lost boys, probably the one that doesn't talk, because there's one that doesn't talk. Is it, it the like skunk, skunk one? Yeah. yeah. Blows the whistle, and that's when they all embark on her, or they all embark on capture, Pan, they capture boys. the lost boys and everything. Then she, then she uh, finds out about Tinkerbell, runs to the lost boys hideout. Yep. And, you know, it's, 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 she has to tell Tinkerbell. It's a kid, it's a kid's movie. Should we say spoiler alert? She has to tell Tinkerbell she's sorry that she believes in her. Mm -hmm. And then Tinkerbell starts to come back to life. Spoiler alert. Tinkerbell lives in this. That's how we, that's how we've got like six more, uh, Tinkerbell direct-to-video movies. Oh, no. Come on. Why not? They've okay. got to catch up with the Barbie movies. <laughs> and the Little Cars movies. Yep, I guess. So, anyway, uh, this is... This, this kind of gets into something where it's like... If you want to... I'm going to get kind of get on a soapbox here. If you want to do a, if you want to be a pro woman feminist movie and show that women can kick butt just like, just like men can. Honestly, this is a pretty good movie because, uh, Jane, <laughs> well, I was going to say Jane. Yeah. Jane is pretty much the star of the action scene. Yeah. Of the main, of the main fight at the end. With the help of Tinkerbell, because she can now fly. And it's like, if you want to do feminism, why can't you do stuff like this? Yeah, why not? Anyway, that's enough That's yeah. enough on my soapbox. I'll, it get, was, it was, I'll get back on it later. It was better than the other two, so I'm other glad. two. Pan and... Um, Hook. Hook, yeah. Okay. However, any, any, now... Any hints for next movie? I wanted to say something else. Okay, please do. Microphone. They wanted to... <laughs> it seemed they want... You implied that they were like, is it just a dream or is it real? Well, she comes back and she's sleeping and mm -hmm. then she like wakes up and like, oh my God, she's already back. And it's revealed that it is real. Yep. See, Warner Brothers... When you make a sequel to a, to a beloved film, you don't have to retcon everything. Yep. Yep. Okay. I got to go walk 46 steps before the end of this hour. So catch you later. Join us next time when Kay picks out a movie. Oh, okay. Um, spoiler alert. It'll have frogs in it. Bye. No. Well, I could have forced you. Anyway, see ya.